You know that emoji with the money flying? That is, that is what's happening right now with this collection because I just love it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another Metier Da unboxing. I've always been a big fan of Chanel Metier Da. I do have ready to wear from the collection. I have in previous years loved what they've come out with always in the pre four Metier Da. However, I just haven't always been buying Chanel and you know, you guys know that. I have been buying Chanel ready to wear in their fashion jewelry and stuff and their shoes. I've always been buying their shoes, but in terms of bags, it is kind of a somewhat new thing for me um, because previously, many, 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 many years ago, we are talking like, let's say like about like seven odd plus years ago because I had been um, buying luxury. As soon as I could start working and saving money, I would buy luxury handbags. So I did buy Chanel a while ago. It was my brand of choice along with Louis Vuitton. However, quite clearly, I took a long break from Chanel and I dwelled into the realm of Hermes and I will always still have a lot of respect for the artistry and the craftsmanship with Hermes and I definitely am not shutting the door on ever buying another Hermes bag again. I'm not doing that. But right now I can say that I am really loving the Chanel releases. I'm loving what direction the brand is going, especially the colors. She is giving us all the colors or all the colors that I really like. I can definitely say that. And I know that there are other people that have said the same, that they're really happy with the colors that they've been coming out with. So yeah, I'm loving Chanel right now. Bit of a spiel at the start of this video. So if you are new to my channel, if you want to subscribe after I've had a long intro, um, then I would appreciate if you would, but your choice, whatever, whatever you want to do, you know, you do you. Um, but yeah, if you want to subscribe, hit that bell down below, hit that button down below, hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I try to upload twice a week, but I will always have a weekend upload. Okay. So I have already done on my channel, the unboxing for the mini rectangular in gray color code NC634. Hopefully I've said that right. Yep, I did. Um, so this is the first bag that I got from this collection. Love it. It is so, oh, this is just the perfect gray. This really truly is. I love this gray and Chanel does not do grays very often. So that was why this was on the very top of my list. So I knew this was coming. So I put I put myself on the wait list with my sales associate, said that this was my top priority. I really wanted this bag and it came through and I was so happy. My Chanel sales associate is the absolute bomb. Like she is just the bomb, like the bomb. Anyways, enough said about that. This bag, however, this was kind of a last minute decision. Um, and we'll talk about why, but yeah, it was a last minute decision and I ended up still getting it. So I'm, I'm really, really happy that I ended up getting it. It was a last minute decision, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't something that I hadn't been thinking about because I definitely was. I just wasn't sure if I should pull the trigger on it uh, in terms of this particular like color plus bag. And I'll explain a little bit later, but anyways, let's open it up. So it's obviously a bigger bag than the mini flap, quite clearly, because the box is much bigger. And I'm not really doing like a dramatic kind of opening, but you're free to guess. I don't know if you can kind of already see what it is anyway. You're free to guess down below. I know I've kind of ruined it because I've already kind of <laughs> unboxed it. You might even be able to see the top of it. But anyways, you can put your guesses down below. I got the Chanel Coco handle. I'm going to put this box down because it is it is big and their boxes are heavy. They're heavy. But anyways, yeah, I got the Chanel Coco handle in the size small. I've already unboxed it. So the strap was already undone because I did do an unboxing already to film for Instagram. Plus, you know, wanted to look over the bag and whatnot. So let me explain why this was a last minute thing. So if you do watch my channel, you would already know that I did do a Coco handle unboxing from uh, 21S. I know that they are somewhat going to be similar, but not really. I am sure that they are not similar enough. So this is the 21A Rose Claire. Um, and from what I have seen, um, the Luxonomy, hi girl. But I watched her video and she did a comparison of this bag, the extra mini cocoa in 21A Rose Claire versus the 21C Rose Claire. And this was very, very similar to the 21C Rose Claire, which I love. I love that color. 
However, I'm just noticing that obviously, you know, I wasn't, you know, buying Chanel bags when that came out. So cl quite clearly I missed out on it. Um, however, in the resale market, like consignment, st consignment stores are selling that 21C Rose Claire for a premium. And I don't really want to pay the premium for it. Like, I'm okay with like, you know, paying, like covering the shipping, maybe a slight premium of like, you know, $100. But like, they're going for like over $1,000 more, $2,000 more. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that. So not for, not for a small classic flap at least. Because the small classic flap... Um, I like it just as much as the medium. If anything, the small classic flaps are a little bit more versatile because you can wear it cross body. But the bag itself, I do not find them as versatile in a bag collection as what I do the um, mini, the mini because it sits perfectly cross body on me. It fits my essentials and the capacity is very much the same as a small classic flap. And the medium classic flap only fits a little bit more, but you can't wear it cross body. So I'm just, uh, even though the classic handbag from Chanel, the classic flap, you can't go wrong with it. It's an investment. It continues to go up in price. I just don't want to pay a premium for it. That's just, you know, like, yeah, that's just how I kind of feel. But that is why I decided to get the Coco handle in the 21A Rose Claire. And the Coco handle is actually much cheaper. It's $6,290. We did actually have an increase on this last time that they did the increase in Australia, the cocoa handle went up. It was previously like, I think it was about 5,850 or something. It was around about that price point because between the two bags, they're pretty much the same price. The capacity of the cocoa handle is definitely that little bit more. So I see that there is a good value in the cocoa handle. Plus you have a very versatile top handle. It does go in the crook of your arm. Um, shoulder strap as well. The only downfall is that you can't use a crossbody off the bat. It is too short. However, um, I do have these like little strap extenders that I actually sell. So I have a stock of these in Australia. So if you're an Aussie and you own a cocoa handle and you want to be able to wear a crossbody, then I do sell these. Um, I can ship international as well, but Let's be honest, shipping from Australia is very expensive. It is like $20 Australian at least, at least. So it goes up depending on where you are in the world because Australia is at the bottom of the world. So we have very expensive shipping. So I do actually get these made overseas. I can actually ship it to you directly from them. So that way I don't have to charge you. $20 shipping. Um, but if you want me to send it from Australia, I'm more than happy to. I've got plenty of stock here. But yeah, this is what I do use to actually make this crossbody. And it is a total game changer for the actual bag because otherwise you really can only use it on the shoulder and in the crook of your arm. But I'm all about versatility. I got two kids. So if I can use a bag crossbody, I like to be able to do so. You see how like the um, little hooks on the side of the handle here, one of them kind of lips up. So that is where you're just gonna slide it in. And it, to me, it fits perfectly. So it's not even rubbing or putting pressure on the actual um, leather. It is sitting just that millimeter above. So I feel like this is actually perfect. I don't know if the cocoa handles like in the older models are the same. I'm not sure because I don't have an older model cocoa handle, but based on definitely this new cocoa handle with the um, outside stitch, it does sit fine. So then when you touch this, it makes it the perfect length for crossbody. So if you don't even want the pearl strap showing, you can just wear it so the pearl, the pearl extender is at the back of your body and only people walking behind you can see it. So if you don't physically like to see the pearls. So now I can get more use from a small cocoa handle. Whereas before when I did own this bag, that was the thing that I didn't like about it was that I couldn't wear it crossbody and I was like, I can only wear it on the shoulder. And for a bag like this, I kind of wanted to have that option of wearing a crossbody. The cocoa handle now has um, an outside uh, border stitch, which it didn't have before, which um, I, in the beginning, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I was kind of like, ooh, outside stitch. I don't know, because with the cocoa handle before, I liked how it had really like puffy kind of um, quilts to it because it didn't have that outside stitch. So this does make the bag look a little bit more like sleek, less puffy in its quilts. That's kind of like what I kind of get from it visually, the difference. However, I still am okay. Like I'm still on board with the outside stitch. 
I don't know if I have a preference between the two. Right now, I can't really tell you. Maybe more towards the classic way that the cocoa was done, maybe. Um, you know what it does give me vibes of? It gives me trendy vibes. Like the trendy top handle, it gives me more of that sort of vibe. And when I think about it, the trendy top handle is actually more expensive. It's like, I think it's like almost $8,000 or it's like $8,000 for a small trendy top handle. Like intrigued as to why Chanel has decided to do that outside stitch because it's kind of looking more similar to a trendy now. They both have a top handle. However, the trendy has got more like uh, hardware detailing to it. And it's also only in lambskin. Let's talk about the bag. So, uh, Mona Lisa back pocket as usual. And I think that this stitch here might be new. I can't remember. Cause like I said, I don't have my cocoa handle with me. Um, other than that, I feel like that's the only thing that's really changed in the overall design of the bag. Now in terms of the actual interior, it is actually leather lined, whereas Previously with the cocoa hand, in the small size, it was fabric lined. The extra mini cocoa that I have is actually leather lined, but now they've reverted back to being leather lined on the small cocoa handle. And I'm sure that it's gonna be the same for the other sizes as well, which is good. I like that they've gone to an all leather interior. The other thing is that they, again, like the mini flap, this has a microchip in it as well. Metal plaque just there, if you can kind of see it. And it does have a digit on it. And that is the authentication for Chanel. That is their microchip. If you're buying it from the store, make a copy of your receipt. I keep all my receipts in my Microsoft OneDrive. Put them in your OneDrive, put them in your Google Drive, put them in your Apple iCloud, whatever it is that is your preferred cloud storage, your preferred, you know, whatever you want to call it, your online storage. Put your receipts into there. Take a photo of it on your phone, scan it on your computer scanner, whatever you need to do. Put your receipts on a online storage cloud. Make sure that you do that because if you ever decide to sell your bag, it is probably going to be very problematic going forward as time goes on in case super fakes come into the market, it's gonna be problematic in terms of selling your bag to prove the authenticity of it. Even though there are always going to be authenticators being able to review bags and look at the fine details and that sort of thing, um, having the receipt really just does help for peace of mind. Um, but that is about it. That is how the cocoa handle looks on the bottom of the bag. Um, I hope, hopefully have some mod shots anyway. Yes, I'm sure I have some mod shots of this bag. Uh, I will do the strap measurement for you guys. So if you do own a cocoa handle um, prior to uh, Metier Da, you can compare this and let me know in the comments down below if the strap is actually now a little bit longer. So I'm gonna measure the actual length. I'm not gonna do the strap drop. We're actually gonna measure the length because I'm really curious as to whether it is true that the strap is a little bit longer. 98 centimeters. So let me know. 98 centimeters. Is this longer than what the cocoa handle was before in the small size? Um, sometimes people refer to this as the mini. However, it was formerly referred to as the mini, but now technically it's the small. And now, so now you have the mini cocoa handle, um, which I kind of referred to as the extra mini and then the small. So I've kind of jumped a whole terminology right there, but that is kind of, you know, that is technically what it is. You have the mini, the small, the medium, and I think there's a large as well. The hardware on this is a light gold hardware, which is pretty common for the cocoa handle that they do light gold hardware. Sometimes they do ruthenium, um, but yeah, that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are getting anything from the Chanel Metier Dar collection, please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. So I almost forgot to do a comparison with the 21S Rose, Claire, Lilac, whatever you call it. I refer to the color codes because I just find it a bit easier. And that's, this is the color code NC022. Um, so yeah, that is compared to the Rose Claire. Actually, I should go and get the color code for this. Um, I'll just put it on the screen. So I'll put the, on the screen the color code for this one. So you know, but yeah, that is the comparison between the two. Um, they are pretty similar, you know, they are close, but this is quite clearly got a lilac undertone and this is quite clearly got like that beigey pink sort of undertone. This is definitely much more of a neutral in my opinion. Yeah, I think that, you know, even though they are similar, they still are very different in my eyes. And this is a cocoa handle. This is a classic flap. So yeah.